Welcome in for Sumba Conference Football on ESPN Plus. We're today from Centennial Bank Stadium in Jonesboro, Arkansas. It's the A-State Red Wolves playing host to the Mountaineers of Appalachian State. Combined for 144 career starts, led by Stills, 50. Hatcher complete to the valence Hunt. He's knocked down out across the 40 to about the 43. That's a gain of 13 before Stephen Jones Jr. brings him down. Hatcher coming from the Mountaineers as they walk extra guys up to the line. And that pass batted down. Good defensive play there by T.D. Roof. Let's get Clemson right now. So third and 10 for Arkansas State, trying to keep the drive alive. Hatcher has to dance around now. Just throws that one incomplete. Good coverage by the Mountaineer defense. And after picking up a first down, the Red Wolves now look at fourth and 10. Upright. Little play action on first down. Bryce looking deep across the middle, and that pass broken up. First possession on offense. Bryce with time, complete just out across the chains. Malik Williams hauls in his 41st catch, and the Mountaineers move the chains on third and long. Here it's second and nine. Play action for Bryce, slip momentarily, but then gets back and fires a strike to Corey Sutton in A-State territory. Spun out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. That's going to be a gain of 21 and a first down. Brings up second and three. Here's Noel again bouncing off one tackle, but there to finish it up is Jaden Harris. And that'll bring up a third down for the Mountaineers. Territory anyway. Noel gets the handoff. Breaks the tackle, but is stopped short of the first down by E.J. Alexander. And it'll be a fourth down coming up at a decision for the App State offense at the right side of the line. Noel takes the handoff, hit near the line of scrimmage, but looks like he got enough for the first down. Or hit near the chains, but looks like Nate Noel has indeed picked up the first down. Three points in the second half last week at South Alabama. Here comes a little Double trickery pass. for the Mountaineers and all alone for the touchdown is Thomas Hennigan as App State used that defensive aggression against the Red Wolves there. On second and 10, Hatcher pulls it back from Johnny Lang and finds Hunt, picks up a block out across the 30 yard line. It's gonna be a gain of about eight. Arkansas State is Hatcher is picked off on the interception. Here comes Stephen Jones Jr. and he is gonna go into the end zone. Second consecutive game for Stephen Jones to get a pick six. It was a 14 yarder last week against ULM. But Stephen Jones Jr. another pick six. On second down and eight, Hatcher found Jack Combs coming across. He's upended by Milan Tucker. Six just a moment ago. This time Hatcher. Pump fakes now throws down the middle and he finds Adam Jones for the first down. One catch. 17 yards on the pickup. Now on first down into App State territory. It's Johnny Lang. Out across the 40 to the 39. He picks up 16 yards before Ryan Huff brought him down. In Mountaineer territory for the first time today on first down. Lang will try it again to his right. Broke one tackle. Now cuts back inside. A late flag on the play. It'll be the first of the day. Personal foul. Blindside block. Number 84 on the offense. 15-yard penalty. Replay. First down. So Jack Combs the guilty party, and that moves A-State almost back to the 49, just past the 48 yard line of that. He's here after the personal foul. Now a little <laughs> jet sweep on second down. That is. Just to get around the corner. So a gain of eight brings up third and 11 and boy, App State was there and waiting for that pass. Reagan Ely hauled it in, but as soon as he did, there were two white jerseys to bring him down and the Red Wolves will face a fourth and 12. And four. 
Bryce in trouble and he goes down as that's Jojo Azugu with the sack. Second and eight for Hatcher and the Red Wolves. Lane is going to be brought down and we'll see if this ends up being a grounding call or not. It's, it's a lateral. A he lateral. Threw the, he threw the ball as he was going down. He threw the ball behind him. That's why the officials didn't blow the whistle. And huge loss right there rather than taking the sack. Marco Jackson. Now it's third down and 25. Just a little safe handoff play to Lincoln Perry who is going to get a lot of that yards, yardage back and maybe some more with a flag at the end. It looks like a face mask at the end, but good run by Perry. Getting up in the hole on the left side. Perry again finds the hole and is out across the 25-yard line down to the 23, a gain of 16 for Lincoln Perry. Trey Cobb there with the tackle. The third and 10 from the Mountaineer 23. Hatcher moves to his left, buys a little time, and there's going to be a flag. As yeah, they had the the receiver wrapped up. It's his eyes downfield. Pass interference on the defense, number 12. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Two big plays have kept this drive alive. Cone, the uh, grad transfer coach out of Wisconsin, starting yes. for the second straight game in the place of Sean Jolly, missing again today with the foot injury. Lang in the backfield with Hatcher, who drops back looking for Emmanuel Stevenson all alone. And the freshman has his second touchdown catch of the year. He rolls to his right. Gets it complete out to Jalen Virgil, who kept a knee off the turf and able to pick up a first down. Before <laughs> they played in a few of these After games. further review, the receiver's knee was down at the 32-yard line. Yes. It will be third down at that spot. Wow. I finally got one right out of about 37. Holy cow. <laughs> so the line to gain is going to be right about the 35. You get a great look at the knee down at the 32. Went out wide left. Now the handoff to Noel. And he fought his way forward for a first down. Tough run by Nate Noel moves the chains. As Bryce, with time, has no. his pass picked off by, Jer by Jarius Romadick. Jumped the route and got an interception and the Red Wolves are gonna be set up in Mountaineer territory. Stevenson who caught the touchdown was in motion as the handoff this time goes to Johnny Lang across the 20, lowers the shoulder and the boom as he steps out of bounds near the 15, a gain of 18 for Lang. And play action is as Hatcher looking for Tavalence Hunt and had it go off his hands and incomplete. 10. A jet sweep for Corey Rucker, and boy, that play is blown up by DeMarco Jackson, and we've said his name a lot here in this first half. Hatcher finds the receiver all alone, and that'll go for a touchdown as Lane Hatcher finds Ross Painter at the tight end spot for the score. Field today. Chandler Staten now at 417 career points with his two extra points today. And Blake Groupie just took the Arkansas State lead, but here comes the Mountaineers. Here comes the App State with a big kick return. Sets up Bryce. And the Mountaineers at the 40. Now here's Cameron Peoples out in to A State territory. That's going to be a gain of 15 and quickly back comes App State. Throws it out in the flat. Catch made by Virgil. Receiver. Malik Williams, 14 with the catch. As Bryce sort of rode the option there and pulled it back and picked up the first down. <laughs> Yellow receiving gloves a couple <laughs> plays ago, but I don't know if that's it or not. Sutton's not wearing them. On the third down play. We got bodies falling, trying to get out of the pile as 
Peoples is tackled by Vidal Scott. They will run the play. This is Peoples plowing forward for the first down. Mountaineers two for two on fourth down here in the first half. Fresh set of downs at the A-State 18. Here's Noel bouncing out to the right. He's got room down the sideline, and he's going to coast in for the score. This one will be third and 12 from a dangerous spot in their own territory. Hatcher. Pass is complete to Stevenson, but he's ridden down by DeMarco Jackson making plays again. A couple of yards shy of the first down. He's been busy during conference expansion. App State busy on offense coming out of the timeout as the pass goes to Hannigan out across the 35 to the 36. Gain of nine, and John Mincy eventually made the stop. He came in leading the Sun Belt in rushing yards. Heading into the day. He's hit at the line, but spins forward and moves the chains. In an extra two, three yards after, con after initial contact. Here's Noel again, this time to the right, and he is dropped by Jarius Romanik just across the 40-yard line. Big lick by Romanik, and it'll be second down and eight. Perception and a big hit there is what looked like the snap. Almost got there before Bryce yeah. was ready for it, but he hauls it in. And Still turns it into a first down play. Four and a stop, and they're at midfield again with a fresh set of downs. Here's Peoples dancing around. Out across the 40, down to about the 38, and a late flag will come in. There's your guilty party, huh? After the play was over, personal foul, number 68 on the offense. 15-yard penalty. Before the, before the foul was occurred, there was a first down, so it'll be first and 10. Well, the result was still a first down. It just backs the ball up into App State territory at the 47. Bryce with the completion to Hannigan. He spins by a defender and picks up the first down. That'll be a gain of 16, or excuse me, about 13 for Thomas Hannigan and a new set of downs for the Mountaineers. All three timeouts. As there's a pass down the sideline, Malik Williams with room to run, finally shoved out of, down, out of bounds, but not before he picks up another first down. Well in the backfield, behind Bryce. They'll drop the football, and Bryce just has to fall on it. Back at about the 18-yard line, so to be a loss of six, five, depending on where they spot it, and they'll put it right back at the original line of scrimmage. Paid off. Now on third and... 10, Bryce, a little miscommunication again as he's tripped down after a very short gain, and they may have to call on Staten this time. It's fourth and long. Again from 33. The kick is on the way, and it is good. Staten now 13 of 13 on the year, and with three seconds to go in the half, the Mountaineers push the lead up to 10. It's on first and 10. Hand it to Noel, and he gets out across the 30, down to the 31. So, excuse me, the 36, pickup of 11 and a first down. He's on third down. First crack since coming out of the locker room. Bryce chased out of the pocket, and he's going to have to throw it away. Caleb Bonner was coming up from his linebacker spot. That'll bring up fourth down. Bryce is down. For Hampton, his fifth of the year. Hatcher. Just has to get rid of it. Was wanting Corey Rucker deep, but he didn't have time to get that play set up. And A-State will go three and out on his first possession of the third quarter. Lay more foot into this one as he's punting from about his own five-yard line. And again, lets it bounce, and it does. Takes an Arkansas State roll, and it's still going. Hennigan finally just jumps on it to lose, or to keep from losing any more yardage. And boy, that's a... Good kick and a friendly roll for Ryan Hansen and A-State there. Off the field here. That pass complete to Malik Williams. By the way, we should go back and mention the fact that uh, very good to see that it is Chase Bryce back on the field offensively at the quarterback spot in this possession. Defensive tackle, and they've got Ayers playing there. As Bryce, Whoa. what a... 
catch <laughs> by Thomas Hennigan. Oh my goodness, out to the 39 yard line of A-State. Play right there and it moves the chains when the Mountaineers face third and nine. Bryce on the keeper. He must be feeling good because he called his own number and picked up another first down. They faced a third and nine. Bryce with time. Now has to pull it down and he's gonna be dropped by EJ Alexander down near the 22 yard line. It'll be second down. Here's Cameron Peoples bouncing outside. Tiptoes the sideline for a couple of extra yards before finally being called out of bounds at the 14 and that's where the Mountaineers will have it first and 10. We've got Peoples in the backfield with him on first down. Chase Bryce looking end zone, too tall for Hennigan as the coverage was there by Kenneth Harris and now we got a late flag well after the play. Hennigan grabbed the face mask, face mask of the Arkansas State defender as they were joined with each other and the official saw it. So this is gonna go against Appalachian State. Here's Peoples cutting back inside with room to run and a touchdown saving stop made there by <laughs> Leon Jones, but Cameron Peoples got a bunch of those yards back there. 19, excuse me, to make it a third down and six. And here's a little flip over to Miller Gibbs, who is into the end zone for a touchdown. Loss, he's broken up a pass and forced to fumble. And here is Nick Hampton in for his second sack of the third quarter as he drops Hatcher back near the 13 yard line. A State looking for some kind of play to get a little momentum going here in this third quarter. And it's not gonna be there because Hatcher with the pump fake and by the time he hauled it back down, he was getting dropped as that's Tyler Bird from his linebacker spot making the play. Foster. On third down, here's Noel across a big hole and Finally brought down at the 25 yard line. That's a pickup of 20 and a first down for Nate Noel and the Mountaineers. As we told you, that's what they call that offensive line. There's a flag is down. Hold number two on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. As a matter of fact, there you see they're going to put it on the ground in the hands of Cameron Peoples, who's down the sideline and into the end zone for a 27-yard score. He straight three and outs for A-State that have gone for a combined zero yards. As Hatcher, with time, finds the receiver. That is Combs, who gets lit up. The ball came loose. Flag is down. We're probably going to see a targeting call here. I believe so. Slide Ruling to his left that time. An incomplete pass. Personal foul. Targeting number seven on the defense. The previous play is under further review. Combs is a redshirt junior transfer out of Iowa, his home state. As you get a look there. The interesting thing is they called the pass incomplete. Yeah, the defensive back, and they called it on seven when it's really zero. Uh, after further review, there was a correction on the number. It was number zero. That personal foul of targeting has been confirmed. Number zero is disqualified from the remainder of the game. Mm -hmm. 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. Defensive formation. As the pass is complete to Corey Rucker, Rucker could not wrestle loose, so the grasp <laughs> shifts to the left as Hatcher. Now gave it to DeValence Hunt coming across the field. He's up across the 40, 35, steps out of bounds at the 34. That'll be a pickup of 14 and a first down to DeValence Hunt. State, here comes Jeff Foreman across the formation as Hatcher will swing it out that direction. Foreman will step out of bounds at the 25 yard line. That's a gain of nine and it'll make it second and one. Pickup of nine. Here's a completion out to Combs, 
He'll pick up the first down. Good to see Jack Combs back out there after being the victim of the targeting penalty a few plays ago. But they're in control of the East race, trying to keep it here today as the start of the fourth quarter is going to be a bad one for Arkansas State because the snap got away from Hatcher, and then he may have compounded it by trying to pick it up instead of falling on it. But Hatcher's back out there after the miscue there. It's third and 28. Lane looking deep, and that ball's up for grabs, and it's going to be picked off by Stephen Jones, Jr., his second interception of the day. And the Mountaineers will take over on offense. Second down and three. Noel. It's Appalachian State offense. Here's Noel. First down. Broke the first tackle and gets up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of five and moves the chains. First down, this one in A State territory at the 46. Bryce will take a shot here, and it is going to be broken up. And uh, we have a flag down, I believe so. Down as I turn to Pass play interference the on the defense, number three. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Well, how many times do you see the defender come up on the short end of an underthrown pass? It just they here are on third down, plus two of two on fourth down. Castle mm. takes the crowd with him near the first down marker, but initially looks to be just short. And bases. They will go to Chandler Staten here to try to Hit from 22, he's hit from everywhere else this year, so why not tack that one on, his second field goal of the day, 14 of 14 on the year. And the Mountaineers cap the 15 play drive that took over eight minutes with a field goal. Hatcher takes the snap, pass is picked off by who else? Stephen Jones Jr., his third pick of the day, his second touchdown. What a day for Jones. He's an open right at 11, A-State, Little Rock Volleyball, and then the A-State men against Harding coming up all Tuesday night here in Jonesboro. Another chance for Alan Lamar. Lamar with his best return of the day as he's yes. out near the 40-yard line, and we got a flag in at the end of the play. One of the receivers out to the left of Beagle on third down and 12. Beagle will keep it on the ground. He's out across the 30, has the first down, bounces off another tackler. He's out across the 40 to the 41, a gain of 23, and a first down for Wyatt Beagle. So they will go for it on fourth down as Beagle keeps it, lowers his shoulder out across midfield, and looks like he's going to be marked just shy of the line he needed. The Mountaineers now seven and two overall. They go to three or four and one in league play and stay in control of the race in the East. Arkansas State again drops its eighth straight, longest losing streak since the 2000 season continues for A State. Again, this one.